Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show how to troubleshoot the slow network performance issues within Citrix sessions in the Citrix environment. So let's say you are working in the Citrix environment and some users are complaining that the Citrix sessions are very very slow. So what we can do is we can use ChatGPT to troubleshoot these kind of issues. So what I am going to do is I am going to type a simple prompt first. Okay. I'm going to type a simple prompt and we can get all the information. So the prompt goes like this. Provide guidance on diagnosing, let's say slow network performance. within Citrix sessions. Okay. So the prompt is provide guidance on diagnosing slow network performance within Citrix sessions. I'm going to hit enter. It is going to give the solution for this particular problem. So you can follow these steps one by one step by step to come to the solution. So if you go on top, the first one it says it define the issue, understand the specific symptoms of slow network performance. Is it slow application launch, lag in user interactions, file transfers or general session slowness. So first we need to understand whether it is, you know, it is a slow, appli the application is launching slowly or application after launching, it is lagging in the user interaction or it is some issues with the file transfer or some general session slowness. So we need to understand what is the exact problem. So it, it's good to always check with the user on this. The second thing, second one is baseline performance. It says establish a baseline of normal performance. This will help you quantify the degree of slowness and track improvements as you troubleshoot. First of all, get a basic understanding like how it used to work before the issue is happening so that you can compare how it is actually working after the issue is resolved. So you need to have the basic understanding of how it was working before. How was the performance before of those applications? And the third one is gather information, collect data about the environment, including Citrix infrastructure configuration. It could be Zenab, Zen desktop, delivery controller settings, network topology. It could be firewalls, routers, switches, bandwidth, server hardware and utilization, check CPU utilization, memory utilization, disk utilization, user location and connectivity method, whether they're connecting through a LAN connection in, in the office network or they're coming from outside network through virtual private network or VPN. So you can check all these things. You can check check server resources, monitor the resource utilization of the Citrix server. So log into Citrix servers and you can check the utilization of the server. You can check CPU utilization, memory utilization, disk utilization. If the CPU utilization is very high or the memory utilization is very high, the performance will be very, very slow. So you can check all these things. And you can use network assessment. It says evaluate the network infrastructure, check for network congestion, latency or packet loss. So at any point in time, if you think it is an issue with the network, if the Citrix servers are fine, and if you think it's an issue with the network, you can always check, you know, uh, from the network side, it could be latency issue or it could be packet loss issue. So you may have to include, uh, involve the network team or network security team on this. And the sixth one is application analysis. Determine if the slowness is specific to certain applications. So you can find out if it, it is happening to all the applications. Users are complaining about all the applications or it is happening to only specific application. The slowness is happening on the specific applications. Citrix policies. You can also check Citrix profile management. So these are all beautiful, you know, troubleshooting steps that you can follow one after the other to come to the root cause of the problem. So you can also check logs. You can also do some client side investigation, investigate the user's client device, 
ensure it meets Citrix receiver workspace requirements. See, let's say on the on the at the end user side, if the user is using a very old version of Citrix receiver or workspace, it can cause some kind of issue. So you can check if that particular user or the group of users who are who is facing the issue have the latest update of Citrix workspace or receiver or not. Okay, so these are all the steps that you can follow at the, at the end if the issue is still not resolved, you can always engage Citrix support. This is the vendor, okay, Citrix vendor, they, we can include them to troubleshoot this issue. And also we need to document it after the issue is resolved, you can always uh, document what was the issue and how you solve this problem so that you can use it for reference in future if you come across same kind of problem you can always use this documentation to solve these issues so this is a very very step by step you know uh, step by step methodology to solve this particular problem so you can always use chat gpt to solve these kind of issues in the citrix environment all right i really hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching i will catch you in the next video bye bye